wonderful people welcome back to the canada info hub channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba canada and i love to talk about everything canada how are you doing i am sure you're doing great today um it's just a few days to weekend where we can rest and unwind and you know that reminds me hope you will join me live on friday i have a live um youtube video coming up with um lamide lamide lives in ontario and we'll be discussing about the cost of living in ontario the pros and cons of living in ontario for anybody who wants to go to ontario if you're a student if you're a new immigrant and you feel that you land in ontario please join me live and ask lamide all the questions you need to know okay so that's by the way uh if you're new to this channel please quickly subscribe to the channel <laughs> subscribe give me the thumbs up destroy the like button whatever just give me the thumbs up and share this video to your friends and family it doesn't cost anything for you to share the video anyway um uh, yeah welcome back to today's video it's more or less an update that i'll be giving concerning the rural and northern immigration pilots and if you don't know canada has welcomed the first two immigrants under the rural and northern immigration pilot and one of them was from Ghana, the second one was from India. So if you are having doubts about the rural and northern immigration pilot, well, it's not my business to convince you. My only business is to inform you about this pathway, which I have done in previous videos. I have shared so much information about RNIP. I've you know done a demo on each of the communities showing you how to you can search for jobs, apply for jobs, and apply for your immigration under the RNIP. You know, and you must check if you meet the community criteria and what they need in that community. Now, the latest update to that is um, the fact that they're actually looking for more healthcare workers, personal support workers, nurses, and all that. So, if you're someone outside Canada and you know you find yourself under this critical um, occupation like healthcare, then the best thing you should do is to start searching for jobs in these 11 communities and the latest community to launch their website is Moosejo. Moosejo is in Saskatchewan and they have launched their website. They they actually saw like three adverts um, on their website which you can check out. I don't have enough time to do the demo if not I would have shown you how to navigate the website and you know apply for jobs and just keep your fingers crossed and you may be lucky to get a job and get a community recommendation. And I also want to announce for those who are doubting about this pathway that one Nigerian was able to get a recommendation from Brandon Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. So if you're among those who are still doubting and dragging your feet about what you're supposed to do, there's nothing I can do. I can't convince you. I can only show you the information. And I have done this on, in several of my videos concerning RNIP. So if you know if you know that you cannot go through the express entry if you know that you cannot get a provincial nomination the next best thing is for you to start searching for a job if you know that you cannot afford the tuition to come as an international student the next option is to start searching for a job and applying to either aipp or the rnip and rnip is very very new that is why i say people should take advantage of it the moment it gets old, it becomes difficult. I know some people would say the community recommendation is very difficult to get. But if you are able to, if, if you know that your occupation falls in the list of occupations that is always in demand in those communities, please, the best thing you should do is to start applying for jobs in those communities. And of course, you need a Canadian standard resume. I've always been saying this. If you need a Canadian standard resume, please send an email um, to... The email on the screen you see please don't sleep on your canadian immigration dream there are lots of people who are just wishing and i don't want you to be wishing i want you to take action because it is when you take action that things will align for you if you don't take action things will not align for you so this is the very short information i want to share and i hope you take action especially those who are looking to search for job opportunities under the rural and northern immigration pilots please do not rest on this search for job opportunities under this pilot and keep your fingers crossed you might likely get a job offer and get a community recommendation that will bring you to canada under the rural and northern immigration pilot like i said it's for those who know that they cannot go through the express entry um, because you know express entry is quite tough and these days you need to learn french to boost your scores and if you know you cannot go through the provincial nomination as well 
and you know very well that you cannot even afford the tuition the tuition fees to come as an international student then start looking for jobs under rnip and aipp i think maybe sometime i'll create a video where i'll talk about the strategies you should adopt when searching for a job under rnip or aipp so that you can optimize your job search um effectively and hopefully just keep your fingers crossed things will align for your favor so this is the information i want to share today thank you so much for watching and see you in my live video tomorrow with lami day where i'll be talking about the cost of living in ontario please tune in and ask your questions so that you don't send me the emails you keep sending me about you know certain places i received too many emails especially from people concerning certain places so if you're going to live in ontario if you're going to come as an international student please tune in tomorrow and ask those questions thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow bye bye